Oh, hello. So today we are doing my mid-month check-in, but the plot twist is I don't have time to really do much of any editing to this. Like I can do a couple of snips here and there. So this is basically going to be a live mid-month check-in because just for timing reasons, I will not have time to edit this. But I just realized I wanted, I woke up this morning, I threw on some lip gloss, I put on some earrings, and we're just gonna talk real quick because I realized that I hadn't planned on doing a mid-month check-in this month, but I just like them and I felt like I wanted to do it. So I also wanted to check in because reading has not been great this month, guys. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to warn you for whenever we get to the end of the month. Um, I have definitely had a couple of things that I've really enjoyed, but overall I would say that, yeah, I, because I'm traveling for the first time in a couple of years because of COVID and I've been sick and all of that, um, I've also never left cats. And I'm feeling very anxious about that. I have just been like stressed with that, which is not good because it's vacation. So it's, just, it's supposed to be fun. And I'm sure that I'll get there. Like once I actually am on the trip, I think I'm going to enjoy it. But the proper, like the anticipatory dread has been a lot for me. And then also work has just been pretty stressful. So with all that combined, I have been just too stressed to read as much as I normally do. Now I have actually gotten through a good, um, well, I guess that with that in mind, I've gotten through a good amount of stuff, but most of what I've read has been really short and very easy to read. So that's the other reason why I was like, oh, I won't do a bit of a check-in because I don't feel like I have enough to check in with you about, but I figured I would just go ahead and tell you what I have been able to read and what I'm thinking about reading next. So one thing that I'm going to talk about at the end of the month and has been the biggest thing I've read is The Golden Fool by Robin Hobb, which is now my second favorite book in the realm of the Elderlings overall series. I love this. It's so good. It's definitely my favorite Fitz book and I'll talk about it more at the end of the month. But suffice it to say, we, me and Leanna have been doing like an every other month kind of schedule. And when I finally finished this, I was like, hey, would you be open to when I get back from my trip, us going ahead and reading the next one? And she was like, oh, thank God, yes. Um, Cause I really want to see what happens in the finale of the trilogy. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to keep going and I'll talk more detailed about why I love this book at the end of the month. The other big thing that I managed to get through was um, the first half of Sources of the Self, which uh, me and my friend Kim did a book club, a live book club on, and I thought that was a really fun conversation. I enjoyed those of you who were able to join for the live chat, and it's kind of niche. I know that this is not going to be a video or a series for everyone, but I enjoyed it, and I hope those of you who read the book enjoyed the conversation. Um, we didn't get through any of the history stuff this time, which actually I think worked out pretty well. That hadn't been the plan. The plan had been to cover the first 15 chapters. We ended up covering the first four. So I think sometime in August we'll start tackling the history. We'll see how far we get. Um, and at that point, I'll probably get an opportunity to start roasting Plato to my heart's content. So I'll, I will look forward to that. But yeah, so this, I definitely took some time for me to read, process, etc. this. Um, so that was another big thing I read. Um, in terms of shorter things that I've read and enjoyed, uh, let's see here. Well, I could probably grab my computer and actually look up what all I read. I know that I have been reading that fantasy series from Kimberly Lemming, I think is her name. Is that her name? Yeah, uh, the That Time I Got Drunk and series. So the first one was That Time I Got Drunk and Accidentally Saved a Demon. That time, The second one is That Time I Got Trunk, Drunk and Yeeted a Love Potion at a Werewolf. And then there was also a little novella called Mistletoe, or not even a novella, it was like a short story. And I just think that these are so fun. They're so charming. Their writing is definitely not like the highest quality quality, um, just in terms of being, I guess, more like traditional writing, but I don't care because it's very charming and I feel like it works with the vibe of the story, which is, I would say, it's epic or high fantasy in the sense that it's definitely not our world, but it's not taking itself too seriously. It's not meant to have super deep world building. It's meant to be a lot of vibes, which I honestly kind of love in 
in fantasy romance in particular, um, but just generally, I'm okay with there not being super detailed world building as long as sort of the set pieces of the world are interesting. And this one I think definitely is. I really like our characters. And the first one, the here, so they're all called demons, but they're different kinds of creatures. <laughs> so the first one, it's really, he's like a dragon shifter, but he gets called a demon. Uh, the second one, there's a werewolf. And then the novella I read, um, there's a fox shifter guy. And I don't know, they're just super fun, charming, uh, just lighthearted, but also there's like adventure. There's definitely some sexy times. I'll tell you, in the one with the werewolf, there like there's some tentacle play showed up that I was not expecting. I'm not even gonna say I wanted it, but um, it was there and it definitely, you know, spiced things up, let's say. So uh, that I definitely, I guess I could have counted those as a surprise because I don't think I was expecting to like those as much as I did but I definitely did. And uh, yeah, so I read those. I just realized that part of why I don't have as much to tell you about is because I read three books for a secret vlog that will be going up in a, like a week and a half-ish, I think. So there'll be three books in there for you guys to hear about. What else did I read? I read, oh, Daisy's Deception. That was really good from Ruby Dixon, but I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the month as a surprise. Um, oh, I read Stuck With You from Allie Hazelwood, which I will say is my least favorite of the three Allie, or three, four, four Allie Hazelwoods I've now read, but I still gave it th three and a half. I still enjoyed it. The only reason is, is that it's a miscommunication trope, which is just like not always my favorite, but I did think it was smart. In this case, she introduced a dual timeline that was intercutting, and I think that that helped the miscommunication not feel as frustrating because you get to see the miscommunication alongside them first meeting. Um, so I actually liked that. And I liked that once they actually got in the same room, or in this case, the same elevator that they're stuck in, um, very quickly miscommunication was resolved, but the way that the tension was built throughout uh, I thought that was smart. Rather than like having them be together for half the book, like they're meet cute, then have like, oh, I hate you for three weeks, and then have a scene where they're stuck together and the issue that they had for three weeks got resolved almost immediately. I think that would have felt a little anticlimactic, but I think by intercutting it, it kind of helped the tension build without me being frustrated that they weren't just talking. Um, I, my main critique of this is I think that it just was too slow getting started considering it's a novella. Like I think it took a little too long to make that happen. So yeah, that was my feeling on that one, but I did still really enjoy it and she I think continues to cement herself as a favorite, a new favorite author. Um, yeah, oh, okay, Broken Wish by Julie C. Dow was one I read and can talk to you about. Uh, this is gonna show up in another vlogging project probably in July, so at that point, I guess I'll do my full rundown. But this is the first in a series of four YA fantasy books that start, this was in the 1860s in Germany, and each book will be like another generation in a different location and written by a different author. So the next one is in the 1920s in New Orleans, and I think the author on that one is Danielle Clayton. This one is by Julie C. Dow, and I will say, I give this three and a half because it kind of went there with the ending in a way I did not expect, and that bumped it from a three to a three and a half. But this is a great example of a book that I'm giving a three, three and a half to, that you might think like, oh, you didn't like it that much. This did exactly what I wanted it to do for the kind of book it is. It's very just like comfort reading YA fantasy. It reads sort of young YA, which I think helped it for me. I've realized, well, you'll see a whole thing about it, but I've realized I do tend to like kind of middle grade or young YA fantasy best these days. And this gave me the sort of coziness I wanted. It also has, it's basically a type of fairy tale retelling. I don't know that it's a one-to-one -one for a fairy tale, but it definitely has a lot of very familiar elements from fairy tales. So it has that kind of voice, I guess, to it, or sort of vibe, perspective, however you want to put that. Um, and I really liked that. I liked that element of this a lot. And yeah, I liked the main character. 
this was just cozy and lovely and a nice sort of palette cleanser. So yeah, this one definitely did what I wanted it to do for me. And I have the second one because it got sent to me by the publisher. So I will happily continue on. But yeah, I enjoyed this. And then let's see here, is there anything else I can tell you about? Come on now, I went to the wrong page. Okay, I think that's about it. Well, I read Hot and Heavy by Michelle Mills, which is the next in her sort of minors series. That's M-I-N-E-R-S, not M-I-N-O-R-S, just to be clear. And I really like this world, I like this, um, kind of set up. It's basically these brothers who are fever bonded to these <clears throat> special crystals that help like power different things in the sci-fi world and it's like a genetic thing so you get paid a crap ton of money if you're doing this work and um, it's this series that she's in or this not series this species she's introduced in a different series the xylans i think is what they're called um and they have like a specific sort of like faded mate situation uh anyway so this was another fun entry and there is definitely a mystery that's introduced in this along with a mystery that got introduced in the first few books that clearly will carry over but it did not get resolved in this one my only my critique of this is what i often critique with her which is that she gets to a point where she starts being super repetitious in the book and i assume it's to pad out the page count and i wish she would just not do that i wish she would just tell us the story because the story itself is fun entertaining but it's annoying when it gets repetitive so yeah okay so I think that's everything I've read in terms of what I'm currently reading am I currently reading anything all right did I finish everything up I guess I'm technically currently reading the gates of Europe still because I just got that back from the library as audio so that will be my audiobook for the next little while I currently reading anything else I don't think so in terms of what I might read next, I don't totally know because I'm going to be, excuse me, still waking up. I'm going to be traveling for the back half of the month and I don't totally know what I'm going to read. I do plan on taking these two as sort of my physical books um, in case I need a physical book rather than audio or ebook. So this is The Magic Circle and it's the first two Donovan books from Nora Roberts. And then this is Keeping Secrets, which is the first two O'Hurley books from Nora Roberts. So this I think has, it's like a Paranora series, and this is more just like a romantic suspense slash just general contemporary romance from her. So these are gonna be my For the Plane books. Am I gonna take anything else? I don't know, I probably will just take my e-reader besides that. I imagine that I'm gonna be buying books over there, which is one of my favorite things to do. Um, I have a vlogging thing idea, I guess, planned for that, um, depending on how I do with buying some books. So I'm sure I may pick up some books. I do have a bunch of ebooks that I might get to, including ARCs. I'm trying to think if there's any in particular that I need to read, because I'm like kind of, I'm doing good on staying ahead of ARCs. I think I'm still, I think I'm in September now for ARCs, so I don't really have to read anything. Um, I think I've got a couple of mysteries I might read. Oh, Pretty Dead Queens by Alexa Dunn. That comes out in October. Um, that might be a good one to read on the plane. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I do. I don't have any specific plans. I am going to be in Scotland, so I feel like I should try to dig up some of my Highland romances just for funsies while I'm there. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of it. This is very rambly and talky and again not really gonna do much of any editing on this so yeah I hope you enjoyed getting a quick little update from me let me know how your reading month is going are you kind of like me and just I don't know I feel like I've seen several people talking about how they're very stressed and struggling to focus which definitely includes me hence so much sci-fi romance if you couldn't tell <laughs> that's like my comfort thing I can kind of focus on. But yeah, I think that will do it for this check-in. So let me know how you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, follow me on the social means if you are so inclined. I have all that information listed in the description box below. And I think that that will do it. I hope you're having an absolutely lovely day today and I will just talk to you soon.